Okay guys, it is like 11 right now, and I got a package that I was not expecting whatsoever. So the Ballast Song Bear is back to his suspicious habits of sending me questions like, have you checked your mail lately? Uh, it's not the first time he's done that. It's not the first time I've gotten something in my mail that I wasn't expecting. Both from Mr. Bear. This is actually not from the Ballast Song Bear. This is from BB Barfly. Uh, Bear made that clear. He did not send this. Barfly did. But they were in cahoots and wanted this to be a surprise. So, we're going to crack it open with the spoon. As per usual. Usual. I can't talk because I'm so excited and concerned at the same time. Um, I hope you are watching this, Mr. BB Barfly. I've heard from everybody that your name is Serge. So, that's what I'm going to refer to you as. That and Ms. Mr. Barfly. But let's, let's see what this is. Okay, there's no sort of note. That is very concerning. Maybe there's something special in the box. Either that or I just have whatever this is and no warning as to what it is or why it's here. Either way, though, that's not really a bad problem to have. Okay, let's see. Got the standard barfly swag. That's pretty sweet. BB barfly, like, I don't know what that is. It's like a, oh, it's a bottle opener. That's what it is, yeah. We got a patch. Little info card that's sweet. We got a sticker, of course. Love stickers. And something. So, uh, let's see. There are one of two things that this could be. I'm not really sure what it is. Uh, let's... Not what I was expecting at all. This was the second option that I didn't think was realistic whatsoever, but that's the one I got. Oh my gosh. This is the Barracuda V2 that just showed up at my mailbox and is here for some reason. I don't know why. Whether it's for me to keep or just have temporarily, I'm not sure. Surge, Mr. Barfly did not send a note. But we got this. We're going to make an awesome video. And I am excited. So this is the first time I've really owned a Barfly product. It's the, it is the first time I've owned a Barfly product. It's the first time that I've really gotten to flip one extensively besides the Superfly that I had for modding. So the modding Superfly, um, I did flip it a little bit, but I was very distracted by all of the other things. Because I was right after Blade Show, and I just didn't really spend much time with the Superfly. It was good, there's no doubt about that, but I never made a video. So, this is going to be quite possibly the first video on the BB Barfly Barracuda V2. So uh, I'm probably going to post this immediately. Um, try to get this out there. But this is the uh, Barracuda V2. I believe it is 6061 aluminum. It's got very nice jimping. When I saw this thing drop, I was amazed. Um, I, I got to say. So a cloner, um, I think it was Armed Shark maybe cloned the Barracuda like five days ago or something. That same day, Barfly drops this. Just, he sends an announcement or post an announcement, just the Barracuda V2, and everybody's oohing and aahing over it. And no one cares about the clone. No one's like, oh my gosh, I want that Barracuda clone. Because it's dumb. Clones are just kind of dumb in that way. Especially cloning a company like Barfly. It's just, like, come on, man. But then, Barfly drops this the day the company drops the original Barracuda. Or not original, because it's a clone, but you, you get what I mean. And it's just ironic for them, because they spent, I don't know, no time cloning that thing, but it took them, like, years. And then they finally get it out, and boom, Barracuda V2. It's, like, just spitting in their face, which is totally deserved. So this is just awesome. 
But some of the new features from what I've seen between this and the standard Barracuda, Barracuda is the special jimping that is on the sides, but not completely on sides. It's on like the, all the chamfering. There's just these divots that will provide grip along the entire thing. And I can confirm it does that. I'm feeling that grip. It's kind of all over and that's pretty sweet. It's a great way to add grip for sure. And uh, it's needed there. Um, another big difference from what I've heard, I haven't read up on this yet. I just saw it and was like, oh my gosh. Um, these have adjustable weights. I assume that's just these pivots in the bottom. So that's cool. Get out a little bit of handle bias. I'll actually do that in this video. Another thing he advertised that I did see was um, improved tolerances. Those tolerances are pretty, pretty darn good. Um, let's see, I don't have a screwdriver, so uh, now I do, and some carbon honey. So let's tune this guy up. By tune, I mean just make sure all the screws are nice and tight. They are. Yep, that's cool. Carbon honey, my favorite oil. So, uh, talking about Barfly products a little bit while I kind of get this thing oiled. Um, people, a lot of people say they are very chunky. And that's more of an observation than a gripe, because it's very chunky. But it's a lot less chunky than I expected, for sure. Uh, the Superfly is not very chunky. It is a little bit still there, but a lot less so than most of the aluminum stuff. This feels great. I do not feel insane chunk. That's not the first thing I think of when I pick this up, which is great. I am not a huge fan of insanely chunky knives, but I don't feel that at all. That was something that always made me a little bit hesitant to buy a Barfly product, which is why this is my first one. Um, yeah, I gotta say it surprised me a lot. Holy cow, that sounds really good. Um, but it's not very chunky. Let me see, do I have... Uh, and look at that, conveniently at my disposal, I have a Madco. Okay, it is chunky. Why did it not feel chunky? So the Madco is a bigger Balasong. This is quite a bit bigger than the Madco. But it doesn't feel like it. It feels great. And I still can't flip. So chunkiness, not really an issue here. Not that I'm seeing. So that's absolutely awesome, Barfly. Thanks for not making it feel like a brick. That's sweet. So tolerances and sound, let's go over those real quick. It's not wiggling. It's not wiggling. There's the play. Very, very tight, not wiggling. And um, you've heard the sound. That's insane. Holy cow, dude. So if I remember right, Surge, Mr. Barfly, is a one-man team in Canada who just changed facilities and immediately after changing facil fac wow, facilities, dropped this whopping thing and a new Superfly design. If you haven't seen the new Superfly design, uh, go check it out on his Instagram. It's got like a hex pattern to it, which is really cool. Um, people are unsure about everything when it comes to that. They don't know, um, as of now, what the specs are, if there's a difference in weight, um, if you can buy just handles to mod your previous Superfly, which at that point, why would you do that? Uh, Superflies are already very inexpensive, which is great. 
Uh, and this Firefly is also very inexpensive and it has dropped now. And based on my first impressions, I don't see why you wouldn't buy one of these. Uh, I was talking with Ghost earlier in his live stream, Ghost Flipping, good friend of mine. And everybody was talking about this. It's a very hot topic in the community right now for good reason, apparently. And um, he said he was considering getting one. I'm gonna text him right after this. He's gonna be the first person to actually know besides Bear and Surge about this thing. And I'm gonna tell him he should buy one. He was really considering it. Uh, I can tell just already he's gonna love it. So, um, yeah, and you should buy one too. They're out now. I'm not trying to falsely advertise, I should say. Um, these impressions, first impressions are insane. Probably the best first impression that I've had for of a battle song in a while. I'm trying to think. Yeah, this is. Because my solo first impressions were terrible. And um, same with another battle song. They weren't terrible, but not great. The battle song that I'm keeping hidden from you guys until I drop the review. So, yeah. And the palette first impressions were kind of weird too. So, this is a great breath of, breath of fresh air. And... Uh, I think this is a battle song the community kind of needed. BB Barfly, um, like the Barracuda and the Fireflies, I feel like have kind of died out a little bit. I don't know if that's actually happened or if people just aren't talking about them as much. Superfly is always being talked about, but just dropping this out of nowhere, dude, you killed it. Yeah, V2 Barracuda, that's so cool. Uh, I'm going to take out the handle weights. Let's see what that does. Let's show you how easy it should be. So this thing feels like taking out the end pivots is actually, like it's not going to make it unflippable. With something like a Mako, if you take out the handle weights, same with an Al, it's kind of unflippable. Like it really messes with things, but this, there's enough weight down there that I can tell it's still going to have plenty of end weight when it comes to chaplains. Oh yeah, definitely enough weight there. And that's a very big difference, quite drastic actually. So for all you people who don't like handle bias, that'll, that'll change things for you. That's for sure. That's really cool. There's small pivots too. All of this hardware is kind of small. That's pretty interesting. I don't mind it though. It's of course T10 and probably hardened steel. This seems like really solid hardware, but it's skinny. So that's that's cool and unique. Haven't seen that before really, except on the pallet, but it's plastic. You'd kind of expect it. Mm, man, this thing sounds so good. So yeah, that's a very viable option. If you think it's got too much end weight, or well, not really too much end weight, too much weight, just in the handles, I should say, try that out. It fanned great before. I didn't notice any issues in fanning because of the big old Barracuda blade, my favorite blade from Barfly, personally. But still, taking them out, uh, that's cool. That did a lot. I'm gonna put them back in though, because I do think I actually liked it with them. Just carried a little more momentum. If you take out weight from the ends of the handles, it will have less momentum. But if it changes the balance, uh, prefer like to suit your preferences more, uh, that is usually an option that I take. So as for the colors of the Super Cuda V2, there's like 10 of them. You can customize each handle, so that's kind of insane. Um, I was actually looking at the, <laughs> this, this guy tonight, just kind of checking it out, because I was actually considering picking one up. It seemed like a lot of people bought them already and are really excited for them. Um, luckily though, I got this guy for a review. So, didn't have to do that. 
but there are loads of colors. There's like blue, there's light blue, I think there's a sapphire blue, so two blues, not three. There's obviously green. There is gold. Hey, let's give you some good looks at this with the lighting. Uh, there's gold, there's red, there's a purple. Um, there's orange too. Maybe the orange is the gold. But you can customize each individual handle, which is awesome. Okay, I think it's about time to wrap up these first impressions. Um, let's just give a few more points. Like there is the balance point for all of you balanced nerds. Uh, it looks like the blade is 410 stainless steel, probably heat treated. Of course, it's heat treated. It's Barfly. Yeah, that's heat, that's heat treated. There's no way it's not. Um, I wonder if you can still buy the unmilled version. Uh, the unmilled version is just, well, that wouldn't be a V2. Yeah, so it's probably just this version. It's very cheap, 125. I don't know if I said that yet, I probably should have. But this guy comes in at $125 and worth it. Um, I can't think of anything in the $125 market that flips better than this. Like, there's stuff like the Orion significantly cheaper. There's some Nabali's products too. The Orion might flip better in some ways, but I don't like that it's sandwich. It also has the value that's pretty good because of the 66, 70, 75 of the Orion. But still, like in this price range, you'll get a Mako V5 from Squid, which is just in a worse version of this in a lot of ways. Um, actually, <laughs> those are surprisingly close. Uh, both bottle openers, both 6061. Um, both now have heat treated blades. Um, both have and hardware. But this guy's on bushings, of course. Has significantly more and better milling. Has jimping on both sides of the handles. Um, it's just all around significantly better than the Mako V5. Uh, I can confidently say that upon first impressions. This guy is insane for the price. Um, and if I were to get handed this, first of all, I wouldn't have guessed it was 6061 aluminum. It doesn't feel like that. It feels very, very strong. Um, I also would have guessed that it was in the $180, $200 price range. So good on you, Barfly. Thank you so much for sending this out for um, first impressions, and of course I'll do a review. I still don't even know if I can keep it. I'm, I don't know why it's here. I'm of course gonna message Barfly immediately, but I might not know for a few days even. I don't know if he keeps up on Instagram and all that over the weekends, so who knows? I'm glad it's here, and uh, I'm glad you're seeing this video so early. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Drop your favorite little emoji. You know what? Drop whatever fish looks closest to a barracuda. Uh, that seems fitting if you made this long. Thank you, BB Barfly. Thank you, Battle Song Bear, for getting me to check my mail. I wouldn't have gotten to this till tomorrow. Uh, yeah, this is sweet. Peace.